All right, yeah, we're from Pennsylvania, around the Pittsburgh area. It's about a nine-hour drive, but it was all worth it. It was pretty cool. We saw sunshine, rain, and snow all <laughs> on the way down here. It was pretty neat. <laughs> usually about to in PA for that. Yeah, usually PA has all that for us anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're very blessed and very happy to be here with you guys this evening and just to share some of our music with you. We're going to do two of our own songs, and we'll end with a song by Phil Wickham, but... Now, this first song we're going to sing is called My Rock. Is it okay if I share a little bit about the songs? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much time. That's the only thing. <laughs> All right, cool. This first song, like I said, is called My Rock. I um, just want to tell you kind of the background. I'll go kind of quick, but we were going to this music festival. We weren't participating in a music festival. We were just attending just to listen. But they used to have this talent competition there, and we thought that if we entered this, this would be like the first step to getting our ministry known and being able to travel around and stuff. Because if you won the talent competition, you got to go on a festival circuit all over the country. And so we were like, we got this. <laughs> we didn't get we didn't get this. <laughs> you try. Yeah. <laughs> and um Long story short, we prayed and prayed and prayed and asked God to give us give us this opportunity, and um, ultimately He didn't. And uh, we were just heartbroken because we knew this is how God was going to give our ministry the platform that it needed to be known. And so we were just uh, praying and asking God why for like two weeks, and then finally I was just flipping through the Book of Matthew and I came across the scripture about building your house on the sand or building your house on the rock. And what Jesus was telling me there was, if you're going to build your ministry off of an event, when that event's over, what, what now? Oh boy. Yep. There you go. Right. If you're going to build your ministry off of anything, then Jesus Christ. Yeah. When that thing inevitably passes away, then what do you have? Good point. There's only one true foundation that we can rely on, and that's Jesus Christ. And we want to rely on our ministry on the foundation of his word and his love for us and his love for the world. And so, hope you guys enjoy it. This is our song, My Rock.
besides you. There is no rock like our God. No. There is no other name alone by which I am saved. King Among Us. It's another one that we wrote. Um, tell you kind of the background of this one too. I love doing this with new people because it's just awesome. <laughs> we were at a kids camp, so like first graders to sixth graders, and we were um, just helping out as youth leaders there. And um, the whole theme of the week was called The King is Among Us. And just to give you background who I am, like I was like five years old when I accepted Christ, so it's like I had a very strong background in the church and who knowing who Christ was and is. And so um, whenever we're talking about this week, this weekend that we were together with uh, the King is Among Us theme, we were talking about how Jesus is always with you no matter who you are, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've done, no matter where you go, he's always there. And that's it's always been something I've known growing up as a Christian. But about six years ago, that really, really struck out to me, just um, stuck out to me, just um, how big that is. So um, I love doing this. This is so awesome. <laughs> but I want just to take a moment or two and just have you guys participate with me just for a second and just um, tell me different names of Jesus that are found in Scripture or maybe something he's done for you in your ministry and your life. Uh, maybe something that you call him. Jehovah Jireh. There you go. Yeah, go for it, guys. Adonai El Roy. Yes. Adonai El Roy. He is my rock. The God who sees me. Captain of the host of the armies of the Lord. Counselor. Savior. Yeah. Redeemer. King. The God who fights for his people. Yes. Let's see, like, two more. We can go all night, though. He's a lot of awesome names. The Lion of Judah. I got like six. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. All those amazing names. Think about the power in each one of those names for a second. The captain of the army of heaven. The creator of the universe. The savior. The God who sees me. The God who heals me. The God who provides for me. Yep. Think about the power of each one of those names just for a second. That's who's with you every single second of every single day. It's so hard to grasp that sometimes, though, when we're facing different battles or different situations in life. Like this situation, in the light of who Jesus is, has no power. Because he is so awesome and so great, so powerful. And he loves us more than we could possibly ever imagine. So when we're thinking about Jesus being with us, don't take that lightly. <laughs> it's pretty powerful. Jesus died on the cross to not only be with us, but also live inside of us. That's even bigger. <laughs> like, he wants the Holy Spirit to reside inside of us so that we can be vessels of his grace and mercy to people who need to receive it also. Amen. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually a lot cooler than pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but this is King Among Us.
left your heavenly home for nothing more than me. You came to set me free, oh King of heaven and earth, author of all truth, maker of my soul. Breathe your life into it all, King of heaven and earth, author of all truth, maker of my soul. You're the king among us. I no longer feel alone. You're among us. There is nowhere I can go to escape the hands that make me whole. I can't escape the hands that make me You boldly tore apart Now what can separate My soul from your embrace So King of heaven and earth Author of all truth Maker of my soul Breathe your life into it all King of heaven and earth Author of all truth
for all eternity. There will be a day when all will bow before Him. There will be a day when death will be no more. Standing face to face with He who died in love. Thank you.